United Kingdom. We've got Chris and we've got Mike from Playground Games. Hi, guys. Chris, talk to me a little bit about uh, this, you know, ton of fun, as it were. Like all Hummers, uh, stems from the uh, the original Humvee, um, and it's absolutely massive, which is not perfect for the United Kingdom, where things are not massive. <laughs> is this a hypercar or is this a supercar? Learn me uh, your ways. So it's it's kind of a track toy. It's a supercar. Hear that roar! Ooh! I sat down with Alan Hartman, head of the Forza franchise, last week to talk about something that is very near and dear to his heart. You have a passion for accessibility. Can you talk a little bit about that? But yeah. that's, I think that's what any uh, game designer in this industry really wants to do, is build a game that everyone can play. Here's, here's Don. He is, uh, has uh, cerebral palsy, and so he has the use of just his left hand for gaming, not his right. And he was playing uh, Forza 7 on the PC, okay. on the keyboard, just literally with just keep having three fingers grouped together and rolling them across the keys. And that's where uh, Dr. Mick and Special Effect went off and did just what they do. They, um, they didn't just send some notes and some ideas. Yeah. They orchestrated a accessibility session with Dong um, across Skype, basically put together a solution built a kit for him. Mm -hmm. He immediately was a better gamer, had mm -hmm. better control in Forza. He was flying around Horizon 4. Yeah, I heard he got pretty good. He got pretty good. <laughs> Please welcome Ben Williams, president of Tora, also known as the Online Racing Association. Thank you so much for being here, Ben. Our goal has always been as real as it gets. It's as real as it gets as we can with the video game. So there are certain things that are involved in motorsports that we just can't do. But we found that we we're mostly using Forza um, just because of the accessibility that it offers and more advanced features like the livery editor and things like that, that allows us to be able to replicate these real life motorsport focus series. Happy January. Hello, Forza fans. You just watched the January recap and now it is time for your February edition of Forza Monthly. But you're probably wondering, who, who is this person sitting here before you? My name is Lisa Malambri, AKA Lucy May, AKA guest host. And I'm thrilled to be here, you guys, because I'm gonna be sharing some fantastic news with you all on this next update coming up for you guys. So definitely stick around. And those include brand new cards. You guys don't wanna miss this episode. If you're even thinking about going anywhere, don't. So let's take a look at what's on deck for today. We're going to pull up a schedule, go through that with you. First, we're going to be breaking down the Forza Horizon 4 Series 19 update with a couple of our friends from Turn 10 Studios because, yes, we're going to need some of that explained for you guys. Then we'll dive right into some Eliminator gameplay to talk about updates specific to that game mode. It's, good. it's really fun. Like, I got a little sneak peek. You guys are going to really like it. Followed by your community spotlight, AMR the Jake is in the house. He is here. He's going to talk with me, a professional Forza livery artist, and he's going to walk us through on how to make your very own livery and one of his amazing creations through that. So you don't want to miss it as well. And to close, some of you have already mastered livery creation. We asked for your submissions. You guys delivered. We put some of our favorites into a sweet montage. That's going to be at the end of the show. So again, can I say it enough? Don't go anywhere. Stick around. We're going to want to watch all of it. It's going to be a great show. So let's get it started. You guys joining me on the couch. Well, there's two couches. So joining me on the couch next to me, it is John and Katrin. Hello. Welcome Hi. to the studio. Good to be here. Yes, John. I mean, welcome back. You've yeah. been here before. Been here a few times. Yeah. Been a few times. Yeah. So you're maybe, a vet. Maybe a half a dozen times. Maybe half a dozen times. Is he going to take my job, guys? Uh, <laughs> Katrin, this is your first time. I mean, does, does it live up to your expectations here? Yeah, I mean, I've watched the stream before, but I think I've learned something new today that the people you know watching never get to see, which is I know what it looks like over there. <laughs> oh, yes, exactly. Can we turn around? No, we can't. <laughs> the other side. Yeah. That's, where, that's where the magic is happening, honestly. Like, we're here having fun, and they're mm -hmm. working. Their hiney's off back there, so kudos mm -hmm. to production 100%. Hypes and chat, everybody, if you're available to do so, you know? Otherwise, you can just hype to yourself. We're, we're there with you in we're spirit. Good. So, first up, John, we've got the Series 19 update. 
Yep. You're going to talk us through it. Let's just roll yeah, right into it I'll get it started. Yeah, I'll just dive right in. Um, Playground just finished their stream talking about all the cool stuff that they've added, so I don't want to uh, regurgitate everything, but I'll recap some of it. The thing that's really exciting, and we'll show you these cars uh, in detail, is the Lexus LFA. So this is the third in the line of uh, Toyota and Lexus models returning to Forza and uh, started with the um, Supra in, uh, what was that, November or December? When did we do that? Uh, early I think December. we talked about it in November, yeah. dropped it in December. In December. Yep. Mm. And then the A86 Troino, which uh, came out uh, just last month, and now the Lexus LFA is the first Lexus coming back. So exciting Ooh. to show that. So that'll be available by finishing 50% uh, of the summer season, which will happen this Thursday. Um, other cool cars, there's lots of hard to find cars that you'll be able to unlock. Um, and also a new exclusive Rover for all of our uh, British Ooh. players. Uh, they probably know this car better than anybody else. The uh, Rover Vitesse, also known as the uh, SD1. Um, which is pretty cool. And moving into autumn, there's an exciting thing here for people who own the Lego expansion. You'll be able to get another car, the Lego Bugatti Chiron. Wow. And uh, it's pretty fast. So as you can see here, one of the challenges is to hit 261 miles per hour in a Lego car. That's crazy. Um, we'll <laughs> also be doing a showcase remix. So this is the Pillar of Autumn, um, uh, a, a nod to the ship from uh, Halo Combat Evolved, mm -hmm. um, where you'll be playing the Halo Experience Showcase in autumn. So different, different weather, different time of day. Um, should be pretty fun. And then we've got uh, a couple more rare cars. And then winter, we get a Vulcan AMR Pro, which is an insane version of the Vulcan, which is already insane. So we'll show that a little bit. What would that be? Insane squared? Insane squared. Yeah. <laughs> or you just, it's just an influx, just a, like yeah. a louder say, statement of it. Insane! Yes. No? And uh. <laughs> another super van. Everybody loves the Ford super vans. There have been three of them, I think. I don't know if they did a fourth, but the, the third one is another exclusive car this month. So lots of good stuff. Um, so I guess we can just dive in and, and yeah. just take a look at the, uh, the Lexus LFA Let's and all of its beauty. Ooh. Oh the, oh, the anticipation. I mean, we got to see the Heine there a little bit. but Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll show it off this <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's a beautiful car, um, lots of carbon, lots of custom work. It's, it's a one-off Lexus made about 10 years ago, I guess, mm -hmm. um, as a kind of a testament to their engineering prowess. Um, Lexus, of course, being the Toyota, Toyota's luxury division. Um, it was it's like a hard a, flex by Toyota. Yeah, Lexus. yeah. It's, <laughs> Look it's, what we got, guys. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. They put everything into this car. And they even worked with um, Yamaha Musical Instruments to have the exhaust tune to something which the chief engineer described as something like a scream of angels. So um, oh, wow. it's pretty exciting. Okay. Um, so let me uh, close it up here. And you know what? I kind of like, you know, when I'm when I'm taking this car, I like to I like to paint it yellow. And I, I think it's because I saw Tanner Faust drive one of these at Sonoma Raceway uh, when he was doing American Top Gear. And um, it just looks really good in yellow. So it, here yeah, we go. on a sports car, always. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A supercar. Like, this is a 550 plus horsepower, 200 oh. mile an hour beast just out of the box. I totally just like downplayed it by. <laughs> <laughs> didn't I? It's, oh, man. It, it, it is a proper supercar. Um, so, let's hear how it sounds um, now that I've talked that up. Yeah. You're going to live up to the height. <laughs> yeah, I really talked that I, up. I really love playing this car both in Motorsport and Horizon. I'm just glad to see it back. Cause it's, why, do you, why do you like this car specifically? I love the way it sounds. I love the way it handles. I love how fast it is. Um, okay. It's got, you know, tons of power, tons of, tons of, uh, it's got amazing uh, handling characteristics. But how does it handle in the forest? That's well, what I want to know. Up, yeah, let's get up to the main road where, where it actually is a little bit uh, more in its element. Yeah, we got to give it its, you know, prime right there now. Show it in all of its glory. Yeah. Then we'll off-road it. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, I love this car, though. It's so cool. All right, here we go. Listen to that. In 200 yards, turn left. Oh, what? Nice custom Ooh. interior. What field of view do you prefer? Um, I typically, it depends. Like, if I'm playing multiplayer, I like to drive and chase camera so as not to, um, so I can see others around me because mm -hmm. I don't want to bump into anybody. But um, a lot of times for immersion, I'll go into dash cam view, especially if I'm using a steering wheel. I've got a couple mm -hmm. steering wheels at my desk that I, I, I trade on and off. Oh. Awesome. And if I'm trying to set lap times, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do in this view too. I don't know why. Well, the car sounds a lot better from the interior cockpit view, really. So. Well, it depends. Oh, it did sound I different. Mean, yeah, it does. Well, Let's go in again. A little bit more muffled. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I, I just always like the cockpit sounds. Yeah. 
Where, but where was the steering wheel? I was kind of missing. Where? Oh, so yeah, that's there the dash is. view. Okay. You, can, you can turn off the steering wheel. So this is if you have a steering wheel of your own. It's a little weird to see two steering wheels. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So some I see. players like that. That was tripping me out for yeah. a second. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> no steering wheel, guys. What did you say about a steering wheel? <laughs> cool. So uh, that's the first um, Lexus to make it into Horizon 4, and we're really happy to see it back. So. Let's take a look at a couple of the other new cars that are coming this way. I talked about the Vulcan AMR Pro. Um, yeah, this car is uh, like a, a bespoke track version of the Vulcan. So the Vulcan is, a, is an insane car. Yeah, insane squared. It right. looks super cool. Um, you will probably wow. never see a real Vulcan in your life, and you will mm. probably have even less chance of seeing a Vulcan AMR Pro in real life, especially on the roads, because it is a track race car. However, because this is Horizon 4, we'll just take it. Yes, <laughs> so. of course. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, no. Uh, that was my warthog. Okay. What? Just got in my way. I just wanted to. So, shorter, job. <laughs> shorter gear ratios, lots more downforce, lighter, quicker. Um, it's just everything that made the Vulcan awesome. It's just more awesomer. Wow. And I like I'm that. Hashtag way. more awesomer, yeah. everyone, <laughs> right now. It's <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. Put it in there. John, hey, you know, we kind of dove right in so quickly. Yes. How about just give our viewers really quickly your official role and what you do. Oh, okay, yes. Yeah. So um, uh, I'm John Knowles. I'm a design director at Turn 10 Studios. Um, for most of the last 10 years, I've been part of a small team that is really dedicated uh, mostly to supporting Playground in their uh, efforts to make Horizon as great as it is. So. Um, <laughs> And Katrin is a yes, and Katrin has recently joined our team. Yeah, I joined about a year ago. I'm on the same team as John. Um, I'm an engineer, so uh, but other than that, you know, still supporting Playground and making this game. Nice. All right. And you guys will get to see for those of you at home get to see Katrin showing us a little uh, eliminator action with the on the sticks. So she's going to show that. But right yeah. now we're talking about these new cars. Yeah, I'm just checking out some of the cool uh, exclusive cars that are coming this month. And this um, is two of five, correct? This is, well, now we're on three. So, so this will yes, be three. this is three. So, oh, this is okay. the Ford Supervan 3. And I can't remember which engine this started out with. It might have been an F1 engine, but over time and uh, over its life since 1994, it's had more people who want to drive it at various events and things. So, it's a more drivable Cosworth V6 engine, which is still powerful, but uh, not as insane maybe as it was originally oh, equipped with. Oh. But these vans are really cool. They're, it's what Ford used to promote. Uh, the transit van, so they would make these uh, souped up versions starting in 1965. Another one, uh, when was the, 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 the Supervan 2? I think that might have been in the early 90s, and then this one in 94. So, so you could just buy them? Anybody could get them? No, even they were just for the shows? Like one, yeah, showrooms? one of each. Yeah, like, oh, I yeah. see. So it's, 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 really a, it's really a bespoke vehicle for showcasing uh, you know, Ford engineering. Ford performance, um, super fun. But our players always have fun with uh, with the super van, the older super van in the game. Now they're going to have even more fun with this one. So. That's incredible. Imagine seeing that just coming down the road. Seriously, yeah. <laughs> talk like that's Speedy that's delivery. innovation. We yeah. can bring that back. You know, the mom van could be this. The mom yeah. van with a wing. Yeah. <laughs> you need a spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> Would Amazon on. get stuff to your house faster if they drove one of these? <laughs> You know, with more kids, with more load in the car, you need that spoiler for aerodynamic mm. reasons to get from point A to point B that much faster. Forza Horizon 4 IRL plays. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one of the other exclusive cars is another British uh, classic, the Rover Vitesse, or SD1. Uh, or, so or the Vitesse. Vitesse. We were like, maybe the Vitesse. I don't know, I don't know we're, how you're we're just supposed having to pronounce it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to say Vitesse. But. Vitesse, you're right. It's like um, finesse. You know, cool car. Um, mm -hmm. Probably more cool for a lot of our uh, British players, and it perfect belongs in the open world of Horizon, set in Great Britain, so it's right at home. Um, so yeah, that'll be the fourth car. And then I guess we can go ahead and jump in and show everybody the uh, Lego Bugatti Chiron, which will be available for every player who has the Lego Speed Champions expansion and uh, finishes the, um, I think it, I said it was an autumn event, but we'll just go ahead and look at look at the car. There's well, one other way that everyone can, actually everyone. Oh, everyone can, can, yeah. can drive it in the Rivals event yeah. this month. Yeah, where, so you can get a yeah. taste of it if you don't have the expansion and then you're gonna go, I need the expansion. Right. Because you're gonna want this car. 
super yeah. fun. So yeah, so even if you don't have the Lego uh, uh, Speed Champions expansion, you'll be able to do it in the monthly rivals. The teaser. Event. It's like, ha ha, yeah. you want to play with the Lego hey. Chiron? And, uh, how <laughs> Bugatti Chiron. Yeah, and how con That's convenient that I'm already on the highway here because this car, Look at that. this car will get you somewhere north of 260 miles per hour because even though it's a Lego Speed Champions car, it is tuned to be uh, as beastly as the Lego, Sh or sorry, the Bugatti Chiron that it's based on. Get out of my way. That is I'm fighting with the dogs. dogs. I don't know. They're, they're for the showcase, not for fighting with. <laughs> Tell them, Katrin. <laughs> all that fun attention to detail as all wow. the Legos have. And I think, uh, actually, Playground pointed this out in their stream, but you know, sometimes when you put together Lego cars, you might not uh, line up all the studs in the same direction. So you'll notice when I get out here in the sun that the the writing on the on the the Lego a couple of studs are facing one direction, some of them are facing another direction. It's just little attention to detail like that that wow. the team at Playground just love to love to add. But beastly car. Um, should be lots of fun. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that and is that a real Bugatti Chiron that I'm catching up with right there? I can't really tell get from it, this get distance. It, get it. Oh <laughs> pretty cool. All right. Ooh, we're trying to look. And uh, there's another fun thing happening in Series 19, uh, which has to do with um, pursuit vehicles. With the what? Pursuit vehicles, right? In oh, yeah, the, yeah. The, uh, there's an Eliminator update. Mm -hmm. We're going to get into that in a, a little bit with Katrin. That's right. She's going to be driving it. But I wanted to give a preview of one of the cars that... Um, oh, yeah, so we can see the light. Yeah, so you can yeah. see the light. So. Um, you're all familiar with the Crown Victoria police car, um, longtime staple, uh, and uh, and its its uh, police accoutrements here. So we've got uh, police lights and all that. So it accoutrement. Accoutrement. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, as Playground uh, demonstrated in their stream, uh, in this month the the uh, the Series 19 update will include new uh, cars that will appear in car drops all of which have mm -hmm. police lights, Ooh. which is cool, especially if you have a police horn. We don't really have the siren right now, so. Just the regular but horn. I think that will be a lot of fun to have these cars uh, challenge you to a race in the Eliminator. Well, you know what Playground didn't have in their stream was your brand new custom John Knowles discount police paint job. Oh, I know, yeah. I just threw, <laughs> oh, this, no. I just threw this one together really quickly. But uh, yeah, I actually made a really neat Seattle uh, police car livery. If you want to look it up, liveries mm -hmm. by Junk1969, you will see a Seattle police car. So That's J-O-N, not J-O-H-N. J-O-N, uh, K. One nine six nine. All right, so, pick yes. it up. You heard it here, folks. I promote myself. Well. <laughs> <laughs> of course, that's what we have. You had your lower thirds too. Go follow him on twi Twitter. I think is what they put. Yeah, and maybe I should try doing the share codes because now those have been updated yeah. to allow not only liveries but also photos and tunes. Mm -hmm. And so maybe I should just put a share code out there uh, for my Seattle Cup Car livery. So uh, oh, perfect. Lots more people can find it more easily without having to remember my name. Yes, and so that's excellent that you bring that up because that is one of the features of the well, features. One of the new things coming with the Series 19 update is you will get share codes. No more having to search and be like, "What, what was? What's your name again? Did I spell your handle right? Uh, what's the title?" It's and maybe it's really difficult to find some, even your friends, right? But share codes directly to you, and you can boop, and then beep right into your garage <laughs> or on your vehicle or in your collection. Mm -hmm. But how can, for the vehicles you just showed us, mm -hmm. how can everybody get these in their garages? Well, so, uh, well, a lot of people already have these cars, okay. which are already in the game, but uh, what's gonna happen now is that um, these cars, this one, there's also a 1959 Jaguar, the Hillman Imp. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the cars that, that have safety lights in the game, they're just going to appear as new car drops in Eliminator, in addition to the heavies that were introduced last month um, and the, the cars that were already in the roster before. So there's just a lot more variety of fun cars to choose to take down other players with. Yeah, to in inspire uh, fear in other yes. players, really. You know, you just pull up behind them, flash your lights, you know, honk your police siren horn if you've unlocked it. Yeah, it'll, yeah I think it'll be a lot of fun to get behind somebody. If, you're, if you play Eliminator like I do and you're always hunting somebody, uh -huh. or if you're somebody who likes to hide, either way, uh, it should be exciting to have a pursuit vehicle behind you. What about the reward cars? Uh, the reward cars, those you just get for completing those challenges again. Uh, Which challenges? Oh, the uh, the festival playlist challenges. Okay. Yeah, all the exclusive cars, you'll be able to see these uh, starting uh, this Thursday when the seasons change, starting with the, the Lexus and all the other Ooh. cars I talked about. So just, uh, you know, chip away at the festival playlist. You'll get... Uh, 
you know, four exclusive cars. Plus, if, if you have the Lego expansion, you'll be getting the Bugatti Chiron as well. Uh, and everybody, and, and again, gets to try it. So remember, the Bugatti Chiron unlocks for people who have Lego if they go uh, onto Lego Island uh, during the appropriate yes. week and uh, do and the Rivals the event, event there. Which I think is in winter. You'll be doing... No, sorry. Oh, rivals. Autumn. You'll be doing a weekly Forza Thon challenge in the Lego Bugatti Chiron. So yeah. That'll be pretty awesome. So speaking of Autumn, then, we have that new showcase. The yes. Showcase events. Should we give it a go? Let's show them. All right. It's wild, you guys. We've got Warthogs. It's a Halo showcase. It's really fun. Yeah, so uh, in, the, in the Horizon 4 when it came out, um, Playground put together this really fun uh, Halo experience. And since then, I think that this is the third time it's been revisited in a showcase remix. Uh, first, the first uh, remix was in winter. This one will be in autumn, and uh, yeah, it's just fun to experience that event with uh, a different setting, different weather, different time of day, um, and a lot more water. Because I think when you first did it in the summer, there weren't really any creeks to splash mm -hmm. through. So there's some moments that are just different. So we'll fire it up. All so right. Always nice to drive a convertible in a rainstorm, anyway, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's also got a new paint job, yeah. or livery, as we say. Ah, yes, yes. Okay, so me, uh, Fort's a noob here, I'm not going to lie, you know, mm. so this, it's always a warthog, it's always a similar situation, yep. just a new environment, a new season, and a new livery. Yes. Awesome. Yes. The Pillar of Autumn. All right, mm. here we go. And that was uh, the name of the ship in um, the first Halo game, Combat Evolved. Ooh, I love them facts. I love these crossovers, the different universes, the games. It is mm -hmm. fun. Yeah. It is and fun. this works beautifully, right? With the, the vehicles and Forza being a vehicle, obviously, game. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's just... What was Master Chief known for if not driving really fast all yeah. the time, right? So... <laughs> Is yes. that what he's known for? <laughs> Pretty sure. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I've been playing Halo wrong. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he's known for, he says? Well, yes. and again, this, uh, this, this Warthog uh, was developed in conjunction with 343. You couldn't just put the same Warthog that Master Chief drives. That's a lot bigger. It's got a big cannon on it. This is actually a CST, or the Civilian Sport Transport. So this was designed, I guess, if you imagine, in the world of Halo, um, people who want to feel like a Spartan will uh, and have the resources will go out and get themselves a fun uh, military inspired civilian vehicle. I guess you could say it's almost like the it's Hummer. Like the, hum the Hummer, yeah. yeah. yeah the, you know, the Hummer started out as a military vehicle and then they made uh, civilian versions of it. Yeah. So uh, this is the civilian sport transport, I mean, it's which explains how fast and sporty it is. And it's in our real world too. I mean, I've, I've seen this vehicle on main campus at Microsoft. Yes, there is a... What? Yeah, there's a real life Warthog used for um, uh, press tours and things like that. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, are you taking it from like building the building? Get in, guys, we're going to lunch. Yeah. <laughs> they bring it out for special events sometimes, uh -huh. you know, and you get to take photos and whatnot. And yeah. Have, like somebody there in Master Chief. Well, so if I re as I recall, when you're sitting in the driver's seat, you have to stand up to actually uh -huh. see out the windshield because it is built for what, a nine foot Spartan. So right. It's, um, it's pretty crazy. Uh -huh. I'm actually able to talk and drive not you're terribly badly yeah. today, right? You're doing a great job. That's impressive, yeah. yeah. Usually when I try and talk while driving, it's like, oh, here's a tree, here's a wall. Yeah. yeah so. IRL, me talking and driving <laughs> is just, oh, I missed my exit. Dang it. Whoops. <laughs> it's better than missing a stop sign. Touche. Silver lining. So all a lot more colorful in autumn. Got lots of orange trees, lots of foliage, lots of wet streets. Is it actually affecting the wet streets on the vehicle? Is yeah, the vehicle feeling yeah. a little bit of that? Yeah, okay. there's, there's a little bit of more slippy. Um, although in a vehicle like this, you probably won't notice it so oh. much because this, this car is just tremendously powerful and grippy. Super weighted, yeah. Yeah, in off-road and, and uh, wet conditions, so. Whoa. Oh, slow-mo. The slow-mo. It's epic. Out of a slow-mo. Mm -hmm. Good air, look at that. And I haven't Crash missed, landing. I haven't missed a checkpoint yet, too. That's. In before you miss yes. the checkpoint. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, really. <laughs> Famous last words. Yeah, so water. We have water. Way. So Ooh. those those are little moments that aren't there in the summertime uh, when this event uh, normally takes place. It's just kind of fun. Mm. It shakes it up a bit. That is really pretty. And you see the water, uh, as I'm sure, you know, you can experience this anywhere that it's raining in the Forza Horizon 4 universe. Ooh. But I just Don't love that jet. about the game. The realism with the rain sticking to the windshield, and that can really affect your 
visibility and your performance as well? Well, regard? yeah, there's no wipers on the Warthog, so you just, <laughs> if you got some rain -X on hand, you could wipe it on the windshield, and that'll, yeah. that'll get all that water off there. But we did that big Spartan hand just come out and just like, <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with the Lego cars, too. They don't have wipers. All the other cars uh, do. Here we go. And getting to the end. And I didn't do too terribly. Ta-da! Uh -oh. oh, the, uh, so it's a very good time to leave, I think, obviously. We're, we're out of here, guys. We're out of here. We're out of here. <laughs> Great work. And everyone can experience that starting tomorrow? Uh, with the update? Well, the update goes live tomorrow, yeah. um, but the uh, festival playlist changes begin on Thursday when the season changes over. So that's when everybody can start tackling those challenges to end up with okay. the, uh, the new. Oh, look at All this. All right, yes. No, Ooh, we're. Check it out. The, yeah, Moving John, along. John's excited at how amazing the production is. We're already ready for some Eliminator action. We're diving in. Guys, what you're looking at right here, it's my very own livery. Isn't that cool? Not created by me. Fancy. It was community created. Fantastic job. Wasn't even asking for it. E freaking T e is the creator, the artist of this livery, and just kind of took it upon themselves to make this and said, hey, look, I made you a livery. And I was like, oh, my God. That is so cool. It's you just fired up the game. One of the mm -hmm. best cars in the game, the Centenario, gets your own custom paint job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Lamborghini Centenario. I'm going to try to read so that hard not to scratch your paint. You know, I mean, it's an expensive car, but it's a great paint job. So. Please treat her good. <laughs> do what I can. And so you'll be heading to to do what? What are we going to be going Let's here? go eliminate some people, shall we? Oh, you're going to do some yes. eliminator. All right, cool. Actually, uh, do you want to drive over there? It's kind of a long drive. Maybe we'll just queue up from the okay. end here and then toodle around. So because this is um, not live yet, she won't be playing eliminator with the pursuit vehicles uh, that are in the update. Um, so this is the same Eliminator you can be playing today, but, you know, it's just fun to play Eliminator, and uh, I'd like to see Katrin play it, because I know she's pretty good at yeah, it. Yeah, we got to get Kat on the sticks, yeah. Katrin yeah. on the sticks to oh, show us. Oh, my goodness, look at that Lambo handling so well in the forest. I gotta, that is well, a love card. I got to practice dodging trees, because that's an Eliminator core skill set. It is. It is? Okay. I'm going to see if I can get over to the destination before oh, the Oh, get there before cues, the matchmaking is complete. I don't think I'll make it. It's already no, found a session. Matchmaking is so. really quick here because there's always a crowd ready yeah. to play. So this is kind of a little objective within waiting? Uh, um, you can just do whatever you want while, yeah. while you're keeping. Oh, you're so. just, oh, I so see. I We're well, not at Eliminator yeah. yet. Yeah. Yeah, you're yeah. trying to get there. It's fun, though, because there's, there's always people playing this. It's a really popular mode since Playground introduced it in December. Lots of people going online. You can always find... Um, you know, you can always find a crowd of players up to 72. Yeah, and it's I really remember. fun to make it all the way to the end. I've won twice and I got all the achievements. So that, nice. that took some okay, work. Okay, John. Yes. Okay. I know there's people out there who've done a lot better than I. I think there's one person who's won over 150 times. Oh my God. Wow. That's hard. That's, That's hard crazy. in a Battle Royale inspired game. Yeah. I think the best so, I've ever done is third place. Oh, really? Yeah. Doesn't that suck though when you get like that close to the end oh, yeah. and then you think you have a chance <laughs> And then the final race happens and you realize you're pointed in the wrong direction. Yep. Oh, that. yeah. That's happened to me once. I was actually on the severely wrong end of the final destination. Yeah. And if you're wondering what exactly is Eliminator, it is Forza Horizon 4's Battle Royale styled mode. It's a bunch of vehicles, as you said, up to 72 load in to a world map. You get to choose your drop, you land, and then it's a matter of trying to find either new drops to upgrade your vehicle and you're going head to head you can what play it to either survive in the in stealth or you can challenge people yeah, up front and take them out immediately yeah what's your style Catherine? how do you like um, to play? you know i usually try and find some car upgrade really quickly and uh then you know it goes to challenge people with head to heads just to get that little bit of an extra boost at the beginning so i'm not like you know challenging people from level one but oh. i start well, up here because no there's drops. there's often some drops up oh yeah. Ooh, i think that... there's one up there there yes. it is! All right. All right, let's go see what Now, what is. if you get really lucky and it's like a level nine car? Oh, then it's going to crush everyone. Would that be just crazy? Well, level three is cool, oh, and it is oh, a Lancia, yeah. which how, is amazing. This is reasonable. How do the drops tend to come through? Do, uh, well, they're randomly placed. I think, actually, Playground uh, are changing up some of the, um, some of the uh, various spawn locations and uh, race destination points also, just to keep things fresh. So mm -hmm. it'll it'll keep being a fresh experience. But yeah, car drops happen randomly in the world, usually around points of interest. So like um, some of the uh, playground locations, like the rail yard, uh, that's where I always like to go. I usually find a few there, but Katrin, yeah, she goes up to the top of the mountain and yeah. finds some, some good ones I all the time. I guess I'll see, there's some smoke. One. Let's go see if this is better and then we'll channel. You haven't so, encountered anybody yet? Yeah. yeah. Then do the drops, are they Ooh, there like since the, the beginning? 
Or do they come Some as are. it goes? Yes. So there can be newer drops. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're there, then they go away. If, uh, if somebody comes and gets them, uh, then you miss it. Sometimes it's, you know, it's maddening when you're, you're racing to one that you really want mm -hmm. and someone gets there right before you. And then you run the risk of them challenging you to race while you're in your lower level, level car and they're in a higher level car. Um, that could just be bad. Well, here's yeah. somebody, let's go see how we do. But you got a Subaru, so yeah. that's uh, awesome. It's the same level as my last get car. Him. Uh oh, get him, get him. oh, oh shoot. you know what? I would I'd... run away. Oh, yeah, let's just leave him alone. I, no. I, he looks like he's really got his own thing going on. Yeah, I don't want to get his vehicle was that? That was a level play? seven car, so that's probably going to outrun. It looked like an Audi. I wasn't paying too close attention. It that... was big. It was red, and it was level seven. That's yeah. where I ran away. Yeah. yeah, that would destroy her. Did uh, you just know that because run. of your experience, or did it say on top? Just oh, it did. briefly yeah. over okay. the car. Yeah, and that's you always have to make that. I mean, you can still win in a level one mini. Mm -hmm. I've seen it happen. Um, I've never done it. I've made it to the end <laughs> oh, in a mini. There's somebody else. Um, but I have been lucky enough. It's luck and skill, right? That's what's fun about this and strategy. Uh -huh. That's a level five car, but you... We're going to do it. Whoa, All right. Oh, yeah. We're doing it live. Oh, get him. All right. That's the spirit. So when it, with uh, the update... She's going to go straight for it. Yes, yeah. and that's how I oh, do yeah. it, right? I'm you just, too? I'm like, I'm risking the trees just to yeah. get there. Point. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Well, that's not a good sign. Oh, wow. He's, that's that was, really You've got a higher top speed than that truck. It's got a shorter, right. it's got a shorter final gear. So oh, I shoot. think maybe, maybe if you can him. keep your speed up... Okay, it looks like shoot. the aspect ah. of the roads might be... Oh, except for the bushes. Yeah. Well, so, <laughs> yeah, the person in the Ranger is taking a bit of a risk cutting yeah, through the trees right I'm, I'm just going to hope they hit a tree and... Yeah, sometimes uh, sticking to the road, road doesn't be a surprise because you will not hit any trees. You might hit a traffic car. Yeah. But, so, yeah, you're in a pretty good position here. I'd say just keep going. Oh, okay. Oh, I, here Captain's I am, her coach. She's going Captain, right into yeah. the Captain's coach. steering wheel yeah. view here. Well, so... With the new update, you're getting lights, right? Yes. So will that help in the dark or what? I think it's just psychological. It's just, okay. Oh, yeah. This okay. is just a terrifying thing. I think it's just okay. a psychological I'm going for advantage. It. You're going for it. it. Let's do it. Stay between the big trees. So that even yeah. then, like if you're doing this, if it were nighttime right now, luckily it's daytime so you can see everything. If it were yeah. nighttime, that would be Watch pretty scary, the right? Oh my goodness. Oh, the house is Oh, ah, no. Oh. That's all right. That's all right. Almost. I think your opponent is so far behind you. Yeah. Did they give up? That yeah. happens. Sometimes people just no go, way. there's no the way I could thing. catch that person. And yet, there is always a chance because... Yeah, because we thought Catherine wasn't going to make it She just hit two second. trees, but you just eliminated yeah. somebody. Wow. And just like that, that person's gone. So now she has a choice to make. Does she want to take the car of the person she beat? Or does she want to upgrade one level up? Yeah. So she that's could what go, this is. I'm going to take theirs because yeah. it's two levels up. Two levels you up. You say it's a truck, okay. but, you know. Of course, it didn't do them any good. So. Well, it is a... <laughs> it is quite an awesome, you know, Dakar-style rally raid right. version of the Ford Ranger. So uh, you That's should do pretty well. And you're still well within the circle. That's yeah, that dotted bunch, line to the left. Lots right. of people over here. I see lots of arrows, so I'm going to go find you're somebody You're going to go hunt somebody? Oh, you're yeah. going to be a hunter? We got him. I mean, yeah, we got to give the viewers some it's, action. It's not enough to just survive. No. Yeah. One must thrive. But sometimes it is. Yeah, oh, that's probably somebody just... <laughs> that's how I do it. Oh, look at... Oh, what, oh, is this? what is this? Okay, so two people just challenged themselves to race. Oh, get him, get him. This guy him. just a got a new car. Yeah. He's really oh. happy with it. You can make him unhappy with it real quick. Ah. Okay, so I hear a lot of hard turns like a Who connected? Beast. There you go. Like, these people are all in races. Honk that horn. Oh, is he? Uh, yeah, oh, they're yeah. All in races. Uh, so those two, all right. Yeah, they kept all challenging each other. Well, so sometimes I'll follow two people in a race to see who wins and oh, then challenge yeah. the winner. In fact, what I should do is follow the lower level car. The winner, yeah, doesn't get an, uh, a more awesome car at the end of it. But Oh, and then wait for the next yeah, one. So so you can kind of see those two are in a race together. You don't know where they're going. But, um, or you could be one of those mean people who likes to drive behind people and make it difficult for them to get to the end by ramming them. I don't like it when people do that. I'm not gonna mess up his race. I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna mess up his race, but I'm gonna be there when he gets to the end and then immediately challenge him and crush him. Nothing's worse than being, you know, in a, in a small car and almost, almost beating the person who challenged you to race and a Unimog comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Oh, what? Noxious. Unimog? Unimog. That's oh, the yeah. big Mercedes. That, oh, wow. Uh, well, the name Mercedes just sounds big, Unimog. doesn't it? <laughs> it sounds terrifying. Yeah. Also, I'm like puttering along just to kind of keep pace with this dude because he must keep hitting trees or something. Yeah, know. it doesn't look like um, he's making there. much progress. Yeah. So that's why his pink dot has a line through it because he's not yeah, available he cannot, for he challenging. He cannot challenge that person I mean, to a race. If I find somebody else, I challenge them instead, but I'm kind of... 
Oh, right? I suppose if this person loses, they're just going to... I think it's quite possible that person will lose. Oh, yeah. no, now you see the, I, those might be the same. It's a, it's that might one. be his yeah. competition over there on the mini-map to the left. Well, good. Then I'll get one of them. See what I want to see. I've never seen what happens to the losing card. Do they just disappear? Yeah, I think they just sort of despawn. Yeah. As, like, it were. as a ghost. This must have been the end point right here, because they're, and that would be. A, they're still both so here. now it's going to be a level five or a level, level six, six car. Which unless, one disappears? Maybe if unless it, he if makes it a mistake and I can I can go mess him up. Oh, they haven't got to the end yet. They're still going yeah. for it. All right. I'm waiting for this disappearing act. Where is the ending? Oh, it must oh, be. Okay. They just they both still probably right there. Yep. There we go. Uh, yeah, so right. now he's this is six. possibly risky for Katra because the car is probably is likely going to upgrade one level above her. Mm-hmm. Aha! There it oh, is. There it is. I honked, but, but it was you too late. Can, yeah. Uh, uh, just, I, I there you go. There you there go. There's a little moment there where there's they right. still have their option to. Uh, uh -oh. oh shoot! We're in the wrong direction. Where's the end point? That's all right. Get it. Oh, no. All right. There's a chance. I mean, they're only one level higher. There is you. a chance. And, and you got a great skill chain. Good job. Yes. Yeah. And you're in a vehicle oh, that'll absorb, <laughs> it, for points. <laughs> absorb the bumps really yeah. well. So. It's true. And there was, they switched uh, over, over to an Audi, I think. So. Yeah. I mean, they're going to do OK, but it's not as heavy. Uh-oh. Houses. Yeah, we're going to dodge it. Nice. She's a pro. Look at these nice. maneuvers. She knew she's going to hit that. Water, oh, water slowing down. Go into it a little drifting. Ooh, bunch of cars. Control. Oh shit! Ah! Ah! House. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Stealth house. Audi. All right. And you're in good shape. I think. Uh -oh. Yeah. Oh, not good. Oh, you did pass him. Oh, don't flip. Uh, so I, I learned that you can actually flip a car on its side oh, and it will not flip back over. Uh, yes. Oh, shoot. We'll reset happened. you. We'll good. reset you, but um, sometimes it takes so long that you just. But then, if you if you if you worry that you you lost, that other person you're racing could also be doing the same thing or hitting a tree. So there's always Never a up. chance. Never give up. Yeah. That's I'm ahead. That's my advice. You are ahead. Oh, still two miles. Oh, that's two miles by road though. It's not yes. Really far away. Yeah, that's that's always a little misleading when you see the distance sign. It's it's trying to figure out how far it is if you were taking roads until you uh, get really close. Now. Oh, okay. Look at that. Boom. Oh, there's a level seven Bentley yeah. yeah. right there. So now Wait, you have a choice. Forward, is your it doesn't really matter what I do. Better than the Bentley. If no, not, you can go get the Bentley. It's gonna be level six. I'm gonna grab that Bentley. But it lost. Well, yeah. you can oh, cancel. This. cancel. Oh, yeah. oh, shoot, you're right, I should cancel. Damn that's it. all right, but you can still. Yeah, yeah. As long as nobody comes and grabs it while I'm waiting. That's right, that could happen. Yeah. Oh, right man, now. so much strategy involved. Yeah, I have. Oh, my God, love for... Okay, you okay. got the right. Bentley. Well, I got the A Bentley. I'm going to get oh. a better Bentley. Is that true? And now I'm going from a level 6 Bayaga to a level 7 Continental. Oh, that's right. Okay. I actually don't know how to say Bayaga. Is that right? Uh, Bentega. <laughs> Bentega. Yes. I can words, honestly. Although the Bentayga is a little better off-road, but this car is definitely fast and all-wheel drive, so you're still in good shape. Okay. And pretty. It's cool. It and it's luxury. I love that color. She's, she's, uh, it's Battle Royale luxury mode. That's right. Here you go. Who's Sliding uh, everywhere. Oh. That looks fair. Oh. Yep. Yep. You got it. do it. That is the Rally Spec Subaru. So it's not going to have a high top gear, so you're going to kill it on the roads. All right. Oh, you should stay on the road then. And it will probably do oh, shoot. the oh, that's off road. Oh, than you. oh that's it right. rolls. Just keep your momentum. Oh, oh. That's, there's no momentum to survive there. Oh. This is not a good sign. Yeah. Oh shoot! Yeah. It's right over there. there. No, no, that dude. That's so close. That, that yeah. person cut straight across, and I was going to go the super What if they flip way. though? What it's if true. they hit a tree or hit a tree or yeah. a rock? Thanks. Or get a little too. There's always a chance. That was a short one though. Yeah, that's too bad. Uh, oh, oh, maybe they missed it. Oh, they did not miss it. Well, 25th, that's better than halfway. Yeah, but you were really it's active in bit. that. And yeah, it was fun. You really it, was got it was a good round. I mean, you maybe it's level seven cars. Two? Yeah, two, I think so. Sweet. Yeah. Nice. So that's in what ways, could, uh, Eliminator obviously is going to still be Eliminator. Uh -huh. The updates are kind of more cosmetic. Mm -hmm. So uh, and There's some behind the scenes stuff too, where some of the waypoints and some of the, um, the, uh, the uh, circle the, you know, the uh, arena arena uh -huh. points are going to be moving around a little bit just to shake it up. Because okay. if you happen to yeah. you know, be the players played it so much, you know, you think you know where everything's going to mm -hmm. be, you may have to... Have an advantage ha there. Well, no, you, you might not now yeah. because you're going to have to rethink how things play out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. well, and you get to play with pursuit vehicles, which mm -hmm. will be a lot of fun. And sirens. Yeah. And the... Oh, if, those... you, if you've unlocked the siren horn, horn. Well, a okay. lot of people have. It's been around for a while. I like it. But, you know, being honked at... Um, with by a police car has got a Viking horn, still good. 
Yeah? Well, I mean, I can't let you go without giving us a sample of the siren. Oh. Oh, you're going to make me do it? Yeah, well. yeah, I'm going to make you do that. <laughs> All right. Well, the, I happen to believe that it's scarier to hear whoop, whoop than it is to hear a continuous siren, because that usually means the cop's right behind you and telling you to pull over. So mm. that's how I use it in the game. Yeah, of course, the continuous siren. I mean, if you hear that, you just think, did I drive through a movie set? Like, this sounds like the yeah. 70s. What's it's going ambient. on? So. I'm not pulling over. It's but good. when you hear that sharp <laughs> whoop, whoop, Nice. You know it's time to like pull over. Awesome. Yeah. Well, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Katrin, Eliminator, good job, 25th yeah. place. Thanks. Next time we'll get him. And John, of course, you guys giving us a sneak peek, or not a sneak peek, but a little bit more of an in-depth look on the update for uh, Series 19. And we're excited to see that. It's coming to you guys all tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And then all of the other fun things that are to follow with the showcase and what have you. So for those of you at home, don't go anywhere. We've got AMR the Jake coming up next. He's going to be joining me here very shortly. So we want to, in the meantime, show you this little clip on this new Aston Martin. I'm just going to call it Insane Squared. Take a look. <laughs> Promise. First of all, was that not Insane Squared? Second of all, AMR the Jake, you know him, you love him. He's sitting here right next to me, in-house. Ba-bam! Hey, how are you how's doing? it going? Hey, you're supposed to be there. I'm, get I'm here. I'm, oh, there I am. There, there he am. is. <laughs> Professional Forza livery artist, everyone. Yes. He's going to be here showing us what is going to go down, what kind of goes in to the thought process of creating liveries and just this amazing one that he specifically did and how you can also kind of jump in and make your own. It's quite the task, but you can definitely get into it. And we're really excited to see <laughs> what you've got for us put together in a schnazzy video. But hey, John, let's talk, or Jack, so sorry. John was sitting right there, so many J's. It's fine, drop it in chat, just crucify me, it's okay. Jay. They will, they will. They yes. will, I'm ready for it, I'm ready. <laughs> Darn it. So, tell them a little bit about yourself. No, for well, those that don't know, <laughs> if they don't know. Uh, my name's AMR the Jake. Uh, that's my gamer tag anyway, Jake Goodman. Um, I do uh, livery designs on Forza Motorsport 7. Uh, did some stuff for the RC in 2018. And uh, just kind of been keeping at it for a while now. Now I'm working uh, with uh, Forza Horizon 4, doing some liveries in there as well. So doing the whole crossover and uh, checking things out, getting to a little bit bigger audience. Yeah, and you're amazing. You guys are in for a treat. Jake made an fantastic video kind of sped up for us so you can get an idea on how he went through the beginning to the end on creating this brand this livery that's so gorgeous and special to you I'm really excited for you to share this let's just jump right into it right yeah, shall absolutely we? yeah let's do that so um, uh, I was I was kind of brought in uh, to take a look at doing uh, the new eliminator mode okay so uh, oh wait, you were brought in to do it well I was asked to to look at maybe putting a livery design together I and see. so I was like oh, okay let me uh, see what I can do here and if it would transfer over and and whatnot so uh, I said yeah yeah we can do that let's do that and then uh, obviously getting an opportunity to come in and 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 talk about it well that's that's always a good thing so uh, right here what, what we want to do is uh, with any livery the obviously the first thing that needs to be noticed is uh, what it's for and uh, this is going to be for the Eliminator Challenge. It's on the uh, 1965 uh, Mini, uh, which is the first car you start out with in the Eliminator Challenge. And uh, so we wanted, or I wanted, to do something that was a little bit different than what everybody else was doing. I had researched the Eliminator, and I'd researched some of the paints and liveries that uh, people have been putting together. And... Uh, no fault at all to anybody that's done one. I mean, I think they're fantastic. The recreation of the logo was fantastic. Lots of purple hues, lots of blues. And, and that's all well and good. Uh, I, I wanted to do something a little bit different. And, and the biggest thing about this livery right now is that uh, I wanted to do an embossed logo. So a lot of chrome, uh, steel renderings, whatever we can do, something to make it shiny, pop, and that's where I started coming up with the idea of working backwards off of the Eliminator logo, taking away all the main shapes 
and then trying something that was a little bit different. So uh, embossed, you know, we want to give it the illusion that it's raised. And uh, that's why I kind of said working uh, backwards, because if you've already have the, the letters and, and whatnot laid out for Eliminator and, and the logo laid out, then you, all you have to do is start removing things. Well, this is how uh, I saw it. And I wanted to give the sheen the, the total credit. So sheen? all that, yeah, like how, it, oh, how, how it's going to be shiny. Yes, okay. Yeah, how it's going to be shiny and whatnot. So uh, I, liked, I liked the big pop. I liked the big shine. Yeah. And, uh, and it, it felt right on a classic car. Like, you know, you see all these, these uh, classic cars. They're just, they're just bright. They're popping. Uh, all the colors on them are, are very vibrant. And it's just classic muscle. Well, you don't ever see a Mini as classic muscle. <laughs> And I'm like, well, it's a 65 now, right? Mini. Yeah, I'm like, hey, I mean, it's, it's not going to be, you know, a, a daily driver. So uh, let's make it something that's worth putting in your garage. And uh, I think that uh, that was the main thought process when I was coming up with a theme for it. And uh, immediately I saw this car and I was playing with a, a color palette for the whole thing. And um, I, I came across uh, just, just doing it all black at one point. And... A lot of this car is trimmed out in chrome. It's a 60s model's car, so all the, the window trim and the bumpers and everything is all chrome. And I was like, well, that's going to work out just nice uh, doing a, a full nice. Forza stamped <laughs> logo. Yeah, right? Just nice. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, the, the whole idea of having a stamp, you know, something that mm -hmm. was like Forza approved. Okay. You know, I, I, I really enjoyed that idea of it. So... Uh, once you get the logo done, uh, it was all about just making everything else work with it, okay? Okay. And um, that's when I, I came, at this point, I'm, I'm already choosing the color uh, scheme for the entire car, and I wanted to show something that that made it look hot roddish. Okay. okay. So you could have gone with red or anything. Yeah. Before I'm going to hold you right there for okay. one second. Hold that thought. This moment right here. How long did it take you to get to this point, making just that Eliminator logo in itself? Uh, the Eliminator logo probably took about an hour. Okay. Just because I was working backwards. And, what do you mean backwards? When okay, I, I mean, say backwards, mentioned that earlier. Yeah. But... Uh, what I mean there is uh, you have to see the design without seeing the design. So. So you have to be like, awesome says, like you. <laughs> I don't know if I'll say that. Okay. <laughs> But that, that's a very like that's a specific trait. Well, it's it's all about shades and stuff. So I mean, I, I like working with the gradients and the shades uh -huh. in the game. Uh, it's kind of what I do. So uh, it, it was it was hard to a point, but once you saw where I, you wanted to go and how you could outline the letters without outlining the letters and just using like shades to kind of give it the impression that there's letters there. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That made it simpler. Once, once that was done, but that, that obviously, that took the, the most time getting to that point. Uh -huh. And uh, right here I'm talking, uh, or I'm thinking, if you're going to have like a hot rod metal and, and everything, you're going to have to use gears or something that shows the internal workings of the car, right? So uh, I had a Falcon, or a, I'm sorry, Falcon tire uh, that I had done that looked like it would work well uh, as a gear. And so I started removing some parts and then switching it around. Uh, it's good to have a, a nice stable of uh, logos that you can go back to and whatnot. And, and I wanted to give it, give it some grit. I wanted to, to give it, and right now I'm, I'm totally in the mindset uh, of Harley Davidson. And I'm like, man, how great would it be to have like a, a 65 Mini that was like Harleyed out? You know, amazing. And and so I'm, I'm throwing some shapes at it that are barbed wire, uh, a couple other different little shapes that would uh, give you that opportunity to see that. And uh, I just I wanted to I wanted to give that whole Harley pinstripe and um, what it would look like on a Harley gas tank. Mm hmm. And that's where, once, once I started going into that mindset, that's when the livery started really coming together. I was able to get the pinstripes uh, going on the way, uh, the car the way that I wanted them to. Uh, 
I'm, I'm still kind of working with the gears on the top. I've, I've kind of put it to the side at this point because I don't know if it's going to work with the entire livery, but at the same time, I still want to use them. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, yeah, because like right there, that yeah. looked really cool. Yeah, but did. I see what you're saying yeah, about I it was kind like, of vibing together with the rest of it. Exactly, because if you're going to go pinstripes, it's, it's really tough to have like a, a, a design or a logo that's over uh, overreaching. You know, it's uh, too big for the car. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe I could have done it a little bit different if I'd have gone a little bit smaller. But uh, at this point, I, I knew where I wanted to go. And so the, the gears are becoming an afterthought. I'm really just focused on how I can get these pinstripes to work out nice and neat. And uh, that's, that's all I'm thinking about right here is getting those pinstripes right and matching so that they, they connect on the front and side of the car. Because I think that's... The different pieces. Yeah, that's, that's what a lot of the, the livery guys, we're always talking. And we're always like our own worst critics. But uh, some of the guys are, are real quick to jump in and say, hey, that doesn't, uh, that doesn't quite uh -oh. meet on the other side. It's a little crooked, Jake. It's a little yeah, crooked. Yeah, you messed that up a little bit. That's a, <laughs> that's a little bit crooked. And uh, so you love when you get that kind of feedback because it, it just means that everybody's really looking at what you're doing. Uh -huh. And uh, that's fantastic. And, I, I, you know, all the Forza uh, livery artists, you know, it's, it's, they're kind of like their own community within a community. And we're always talking to each other and everybody's just got something to say. And uh, so you, you do what you can the best way you can because you're really just hoping, hey, you know, if I put this together and I get it right, and everybody's gonna be, you know, thumbs up. And then, then you'll get the one guy that's like, you know, that didn't work. Uh oh. Do you <laughs> and you're like, oh, you're that guy. Yeah. Do but you submit it kind of to each other first before you make it live? Yeah, we have several channels yeah. that we go through where we'll we'll bounce ideas off each other back and forth. And um, you know, some of the guys are brutal and some of the guys are are not. But brutal uh, as in all in all, nitpicking ooh. not like things that you're just like really or beneficial. Uh, both. Okay. I mean, it's all it's all uh, constructive criticism. Okay. So you know, you take it and and you leave it, and whatever you want to do with it. So right there, uh, I decided, yeah, the the gears weren't going to work at all, and I just uh, my wife's not going to like this, but I yeeted them. Oh no! <laughs> Why did she like was, it? <laughs> I told her I was going to use that word. That I will be sleeping on the couch later. But, uh oh. <laughs> but yeah, Get I got yeeted. <laughs> I got yeeted. So. Uh, but yeah, for sure, uh, I got rid of that, and I was like, man, I'm just going to go with a, a ghosted uh, racing stripe. And what I mean by that is uh, there will be some gradient usage to add to the racing stripe so that it's not just a plain shape. I am a huge fan of in-depth, so the more depth that you can put on a paint, the better it's going to be mm -hmm. uh, as far as the bases go. And um, so I, I figured, all right, I can go ahead. I got all the, the sides taken care of. Uh, we're going to work on the top here and see what more I can do to uh, align the top of the car with uh, all the pinstriping and everything that I did on the sides and still make it work with the eliminator. Uh, one of the ideas I had was instead of the stamp, I was going to set it up like it was riveted and uh, like it was attached to the car. Wow. Yeah. And or it shading. Yeah. yeah. It didn't <laughs> It's one of those moments where you're just like, yeah, that was terrible. That, uh oh. That was a bad idea, but it was a good you tried idea. It. I tried it. Yeah. Yeah. What didn't work about it? <laughs> um, it, there was gonna be uh, some layer issues because okay. it would have had to make a little bit bigger side logo, and I didn't like the way that it was gonna mesh. And so I kept it on there for a little bit. You can see uh, I had like the little rivets, and I'm I'm kind of playing with them. That's what we see and, here. And then I was like, ah, no, nah, let's just get to the top. <laughs> okay. I got rid of those and. Uh, started working on uh, the, the final Forza Monthly design. That looks and, cool. Uh, yeah, so like, uh, and, and one of the things that I always tell everybody is like, hey, this is your art, it's your car. You have fun with it, but sign the thing. You know, come up with the logo, come up with the signature, sign your work. It's your work, and you're putting it out there for everybody to see. Okay. So uh, I, I've had several different uh, ways that I used to sign my car. Uh, I used to be the Hulk, so I had a nice little Hulk head that I used for a long time. And uh, that was your sign. That was my okay. signature. Yeah. So now I've uh, I've got my own signature and uh, one that I actually use on my comic books and stuff. So uh, I just worked that into the design. But was it uh, is it 
font signature or it's uh, uh no it's like a, it's, it's like a, another logo it's another logo but it's the way that i sign my comics okay so yeah yeah so it makes it nice and easy and it's, it's cool for me because i get to see it on cars as well right and it took a little bit of time to do it but uh, now you just copy paste it. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Get your stable of logos and, and have fun with it. I want to know. So we're watching you go through this vehicle <laughs> right here. Did you happen to keep track of how many layers it took? I mean, that had to have been um, numerous. Not offhand. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think uh, I think I wound up saving quite a few layers, not going with that riveted. I want to say it was maybe uh, a thousand per side. Wow. Something like that. Uh, it, it wasn't. It wasn't like overkill. Uh, That's not know, overkill. No, I made no. You get three thousand layers per side. So you know, <gasps> that, there's definitely uh, liveries I've done out there that are twenty nine hundred layers oh per side. Oh my gosh! But I made one with one layer. <laughs> I'm winning! <laughs> Woohoo! Everybody makes <laughs> one layer. I mean, you change the paint. So you know, okay, you the go. two layers. Woo! <laughs> Give yourself more credit. More. There credit. we go. Yes, two. Uh, yeah, here I'm just uh, I'm finishing up uh, the the Forza Monthly. I, I I like the idea once I put the racing stripe in mm -hmm. and added the the shading and ghosting effects. Uh, I like the idea of it just kind of reading nice and easy. And um, I thought it would be kind of cool to have like the Forza logo shaded in behind and kind of like just just peeking through the paint. Uh, but in the end, I just opted to go you know, with a full standard Forza logo. And uh, we have the, the car set and ready. So mm. that is, uh, that's how I did it. And, um, you know, hopefully I, I was able to show some people a, a few different things and, you know, how the mindset behind a yeah. livery artist works. Because you said you already had to envision it. You had to, when you were presented with this idea to do something like this, so you know specifically what your end goal is and that's still creating something out of nothing. Yeah. What was, how do you get your mindset into that process? What does that look like? Like, what are you thinking about? How are you coming to your inspirations? Uh, to be fair, you're all, you're, the first thing you're doing is researching everything. Re you know, what were you, yeah, so you're, what were you you're looking at, at, at uh, for this case, uh, I kind of went back a few months on uh, the Forza monthly liveries and what had been done, uh, what would be different okay. uh, than, than anything that had been kind of previously put up there. Because so that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to, to, to have a Forza livery that was different for the monthly version than, than some of the things that had been submitted before. For sure. Yeah. And, and, uh, and I wanted it to be in a style that was recognizable, you know, for me and how I do cars. How you so, do cars. Yeah. What's that style? Um, well, how can I, people be like, oh, yeah, that's an AMR, the Jake livery? To be fair, if it's got gradients on it, it's probably mine. Really? All right. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the two gradient pages. And uh, I got a buddy, uh, Insomniac, yeah, Insomniac, SVR Insomniac. Uh, him and I had a recent conversation. And uh, <laughs> uh, there was once upon a time where he was doing things a certain way. And I was like, you know, if you break out of that a little bit, it could be great. And then it turned, and uh, he, he turned the tables on me the other day, and he's like, you know, if you break out of that a little bit. So, uh, but, no. yeah, I have, I have some that is uh, typically, uh, Ta -da. yeah, that's going to be my style and the way that I do things. And, you know, it's recognizable, but you, you got to venture out and enjoy the, the other styles that are out there. Yeah, for sure. Well, that, we just got to, you saw the final product there. Yeah. Amazing, and that took a total of how long uh, to make? Are we gonna see this on screen? Yes. No. People, they must know. No, you don't want. To, you don't have to. It, it took a month and a half. Oh, <laughs> he's joking. I got it. Uh, it took a that. few hours. Uh, I was. I worked on that for about four hours. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So. Well, and what's fabulous is with this new update, we have share codes, everyone, and yes. therefore. My man, Jake, you're going to be tweeting it out tomorrow, the share code for yes. that specific livery. That specific livery uh, in Forza Horizon 4. And uh, tomorrow I will also be updating Forza 7 to uh, include the livery as well. Oh. So, yep, All share code place. for Horizon and uh, gameplay on Forza 7. So definitely make sure to follow this man on Twitter, twitter.com slash AMR, the Jake. So don't miss that code, Jake. You've been fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate you for being here. I'm sure everyone in chat also. And seeing this creation live, well, semi live, it was pre-recorded, sped up, you talked it through. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, 
don't go anywhere, right? We're setting up, we've got some really fun liveries to show you guys that were community submitted, and that's at the very end. I just wanted to tease that so you don't leave. I know Jake's leaving us, but you guys don't have to. All this week, there are also plenty of other content creators to bring you some Forza content for your eyes. All day, this is gonna be coming anywhere you can see it on the Forza channels over at Mixer, Twitch, and YouTube. So the one thing I do wanna point out that is interesting here, you'll see the new word all in bright orange for you so you can't miss it that is a brand new show for forza hosted by yours truly the johnny wanna bringing you a daily driver as it says right there every day starting tomorrow aka every weekday i should clarify so definitely check that out out tell them lucy may sent you <laughs> and then uh also there are time changes so if you are familiar with some of these shows Definitely take note that there have been adjustments to some of your favorite shows, as well as some length of time on some of these shows as well. You guys, pay attention. I think one of the shows is like now five hours long instead of two, you know, those, those kind of information things. Want to keep note. But Monday through Friday, Forts has got gotcha, and you don't have to worry about missing anything. So you guys, wow, that is it. I think, that, is that it? That is crazy. No, we need more Forza. I want to I see that Lego car. I'm still looking this way because John's still sitting here. <laughs> Fun facts. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. I've been Lisa Malambre, a.k.a. Lucy May, all show long. We're going to see you guys next month. So as I said and as I promised, right here, take a look. This nice little collage of your guys' submitted liveries. See you next time.